is falling on from my previous video which if you watched it you would know i cut my hair um i have not put any product in it so that's why it's looking really bad frizzy but today i am going to be hopefully dyeing my hair uh, i've got all the stuff i need at least i think i do got the balls got a clip i mean i have more than one My bundle that I'm prepared. <laughs> Let me open this up for you. Alright. So I have four colours. Um because I didn't know much about dyeing hair, I bought lighter colours because I kinda wanna be extra, so I bought these two. So I bought sky blue and pink petal. I was gonna say petal, <laughs> pink petal um because my hair is an orangey like the hats are orangey it doesn't show up i have done a test strand before but for the purpose of this video i will do another test strand for you um using the colors neon pink and sapphire blue now the blue i'm a bit worried it might end up green because like i said my highlights are orangey but you know what? <laughs> we just have to wait and see. So, I towel around. This is my dying t shirt. But, um, so, put my towel. And I'm going to just undo my plaits so I can pick out the strap. I have dyed my hair with, um, semi permanent colour before. Um, it was meant to be indigo, <laughs> but it went green like as it washed out it went green so i'm thinking the same is gonna happen now but um you know what oh well <laughs> okay so i have some hair here um so yeah i'll just oh, i have a brush hang on <laughs> my hair is actually surprisingly soft considering there's no product in it which means i have a good conditioner <laughs> <laughs> um okay look in the mirror see where do i have some highlights all right i'll use this as my test strand so before i cut my hair because i wasn't planning to cut my hair before i cut my hair my plan was to do an ombre of blue to pink um but then i started realizing that i have split ends which i mentioned oh i can't wait to test strand um that i have split ends all the way up to like five centimeters up my hair so i was like mm -hmm, no, this needs to go um so yeah so I, I did that i cut my hair and then after i cut my hair i was thinking wait but now i have less highlights so it's shorter because obviously I, I cut quite a bit off so i was like mm, i don't know should i do ombre still or should i just do like one color or should i do like half pink half blue i really didn't know but i called my friend because <laughs> you know sometimes you need to call the friend um and she was like let's just do a test strand i was like yeah i'll do a test strand and we'll see how it goes and then i'm gonna call her don't tell me i did it again oh my days <laughs> Yes, here you are. Um, so I'm going to do the test strand. Then after the test strand, I'm going to call her and going to be like, hmm, is this worth it? Because as you can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but the highlight, it only really comes like up to here. It's not very long. So I'm probably going to do like blue and then pink. Mm, so, but if that doesn't look very nice, I might end up just doing either pink all over blue all over or do like one side pink one side blue or do like some strands pink some strands blue but let's just do the test strand first and then we'll see <laughs> so make sure it is brushed out yes brushed out get a pair of gloves because i don't want to have pink or blue hands for a few days thank you very much Doesn't do that. <laughs> right. So, how should I start? I'll start 
cotton blue actually because it's short i'm gonna start with pink so i know like where up the two i should go and then i'll put the blue on top and because we're still testing i'm not gonna use the bowls i'm just gonna you know just pour it out onto my finger so let's see how this goes huh? all right have some As the instruction said, has to be clean, dry hair. So my hair is dry, and it was shampooed, so there's no product on it, which I think is good. Just make sure that it's saturated. And now I think I'll use this glove for the blue. Or I'll just wash this one. So because I did put pink on this hand. I will just to be safe put the blue on this one. Um, candy but this is I hope you can see my hair <laughs> all right I wash the gloves and then it says to leave it on up to 15 minutes I'm gonna 15 minutes and then I'll come back or well, 15 minutes I'll wash it out and then I'll come back and we'll see how it goes and then I'll call my friend and have that discussion <laughs> So yeah, excited! I'm so excited! So I'll dry the gloves so I can use them again. Like, I'm, I'm planning that this will work. So, you know, wash the gloves so I can use them again. It's not like I had COVID on them or anything. So this is how it turned out, you can see it, it looks much brighter in person than on the camera but um, the blue is kind of green but it's still blue enough <laughs> and the pink is obviously pink. Um, so I'm gonna, it didn't ombre very well but I'm gonna try and like do this on the rest to see if it actually is good. Um, it's actually going to ombre um but you know what i'm just gonna go straight into it so let's do it i'm gonna start at the back and then work my way up so i'm just gonna brush out my hair section at a time so i'm just gonna do that quickly so there you have it all my hair is brushed out now I will start painting it. So I'm going to put the pink in here and the actually pink in here and blue in here. I think for now I will put the whole thing just in case. So it's nice. And the blue. Put the gloves back on. 
So like I said, I'm gonna start with the pink so that I know where up to to go and then the blue. I'm just gonna use my And now I'll use the brush for the blue since my gloves already have pink so that I don't get any pink on the top. And I'll use the pink brush to feather the pink upwards so that it does create that kind of ombre effect. And now the pink brush is contaminated, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But there you go, there's the first one done, so I'm gonna go to the next. Alright, so the first bit is done. I'm going to go away, do the rest, and then I'll come back. So it's taken me about an hour and a half to do all my hair. I figured out it's gonna take longer with the gloves, so I ended up using my hands. I literally look like I have a highlighter <laughs> on my hand. Um, my ear is blue, but you know, I'll try and wash that out <laughs> along with this. But this is what it's looking like so far. And we'll leave it in for, I think, because it's, I don't know, I started an hour and a half ago. For the sake of the ones I did later, I think I'm going to leave it for about 20-30 minutes. And then I'll come back and rinse it out. And I'll show you how it looks like at the end. But, like... <laughs> so I've got the hair mask in now. I rinsed and shampooed the colour. Um, it's not as bright, I'll say that, but that was expected because, you know, you're rinsing out excess colour. And my hair isn't very, I don't say very porous. I have a low porosity hair, which means it doesn't really absorb um, things because I guess the pores. They're more closed, so a lot, a lot, a lot of pigment and colour was just washing out and I was like, when is this going to end? Um, but eventually, you know, it wasn't blue anymore, but the conditioner, I will say, is kind of um, purple, I don't know if you can see that, but the conditioner slash hair mask is kind of purple, um, but yeah, you can see it's pink, oh. um, so I did use a color protection um, option in the function of beauty um, shampoo conditioner thing because they have the option for color safe and then instead of the Aussie moisture three minute miracle one I used color because I thought yeah that would, that's more you know so I used that and now I'm just gonna wait probably five ten minutes before I rinse this out as well and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna style my hair and then we're gonna see how it looks oh, I'm excited so excited <laughs> so this is what my hair looks like now it's it's weird because I'm not used to it being this short um but yeah it's not, you can't see it very well on camera. <laughs> um, but hopefully you can see this, you know, that bluey green here. And then the pink down here, I'll do a 360. So that's my hair. Um, how to style it. I feel like cause it's shorter, I can do like a fringe. I might do that, um, but obviously whilst it's drying, it's going to be in my face. So, um, let's see how that goes. Put it to the side for now. And then I think the rest I'll put it up. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to need to blow dry this so that it doesn't dry like this. So I'll use a diffuser and dry it like this so that it will dry kind of puffed up and not just down. And then this I'll dry like this, like a fridge. Hopefully it will turn out alright. I hope. And this will be like up to you. That's it, you Hopefully you learn a thing or two. I doubt it because this was really uh, making it up as I go. Um, I think next time I will leave it for longer because this side seems to be a lot more vibrant than this side. But, um, This is the best video I could find of my hair dry, and even though I really wanted to see this look with my hair down, at work we're not allowed, so, yeah.